Hello aviators, welcome back to Skyships and today we will talk about a well-deserved airplane, which is a little forgotten in our time. Boeing 727 is a three-engine single-aisle airliner developed by Boeing in the early 1960s. The plane was produced in the period from 1962 to 1984. It is the only three-engine airliner created by the company from Seattle. The 1950s and 60s were a period of rapid growth in the air transportation. However, the big problem then was not only the increasing number of passengers, but also the unpreparedness of the infrastructure for the new times. Large airports of the big cities successfully worked with the new jet airliners, but the most regional ones still specialized on the piston planes. They simply couldn't handle such machines as the Boeing 707 or DC-8. At that time, the trio of the largest US aircraft operators – United Airlines, American Airlines and Eastern Airlines – gave Boeing a list of rather serious and often contradictory requirements for the new airliner. United Airlines needed a four-engine aircraft capable of flying to high-altitude airfields. American Airlines, as an active operator of the 707 model, wanted a twin-engine airliner, which would be more economical at short distances. Eastern Airlines wanted a similar-sized aircraft, but with a third engine, to allow flights to the Caribbean islands. At that time, the ETOPS requirements forbade twin-engine aircraft to fly over the sea for more than 60 minutes. After wide analysis of the requirements, Boeing initiated the Project 727. In 1959, Lord William Douglas, the head of British European Airways, invited Boeing to join their effort with the British de Havilland aircraft. At that time, the British were building their three-engine Trident airliner, which was structurally similar to the Boeing 727. In addition, Boeing planned to use its Allison AR-963 engines for its aircraft. These engines were lessons produced in the US and were copies of the Rolls-Royce RB-163 Spey, which was planned to be installed on the Trident. Both companies exchanged some development data and even sent representatives to each other's factories. But things didn't work out. In the end, everyone went their separate ways. In addition, some airlines considered the option to equip their aircraft with the new Pratt Whitney JT-8D. These engines had specifications close to the British Spey, but were more efficient. At first, Boeing did not consider this option, as the Pratt Whitney model was not yet ready for serious production. However, later the company agreed to offer it as an option. After a while, JT-8D engines became the basic power plant of the aircraft. The first Boeing 727-100 made its maiden flight in February 1963 and received a type certificate from the FAA in December of that same year. Commercial flights began with Eastern Airlines in February 1964, with flights between the United States' East Coast cities. The Boeing 727 was a very successful airplane. Initially, it occupied a niche well below the four-engine airliners. The first serious planes accommodated 124 people. However, over time, the later versions of the aircraft started actively replacing both Boeing 707 and Douglas DC-8 models, as well as the old piston planes, which count at that time was huge. Boeing 727 is a narrow-body three-engine airliner with a low wing and a T-tail. The basic scheme is quite close to the British Trident and Soviet Tupolev 154. One of the main advantages of the aircraft were the wing and the tail with very high aerodynamic quality and advanced mechanization. It made possible to maintain flight at fairly low speeds and operate on airfields with short runways. Power plant, three Pratt Whitney JTA D turbofan engines of the several versions. Two engines, number one and number three, are suspended on the sides of the tail. The third, number two, is inside the fuselage at the tail section. The air intake is located above the fuselage. The Boeing 727 was originally developed for flights to small regional airports. In this regard, Boeing had paid much attention to systems which had to minimize the aircraft's dependence on the infrastructure. One of the solutions was the installation of its own air stair inside the tail section of the aircraft. Moreover, the air stair could be released even during the flight. It is not entirely clear why this function was added initially, but thanks to it, history remembers one guy. In 1971, D.B. Cooper hijacked the Boeing 727 of Northwest Airlines at the airport. 
He received $200,000, released the passengers and after that forced the pilots to take off. Then he released the air stair during the flight and jumped into a thunderstorm. Well, Jack Sparrow would be proud. Captain Jack Sparrow, please. Boeing then installed on the Linus the limiter called the Cooper Vane, so that the air stair could not be lowered in flight. In addition, the Boeing 727 was the first series produced commercial aircraft having the turbine auxiliary power plant, a small engine generator to maintain power on the ground. Now the APU is a standard element of almost all civilian aircraft. The round cross section of the airplane fuselage has a diameter of 3.8 meters. The cabin has a classic layout for the Boeing narrow body models, with six seats in a row, 3 plus 3. Different versions of the 727s accommodated a different number of passengers. Early aircraft are 231 passengers, and later up to 189. Along with great merits, the aircraft had its problems, the most important of which was noise pollution. Boeing 727 was one of the loudest airliners, and if in the beginning it was not a big deal, by the mid-1970s it became a problem. The new requirements of the aviation authorities became tough. Boeing had to come up with a lot of tricks to reduce the noise. Also, this problem was never solved. By the beginning of the 21st century, Boeing 727 didn't have the right to fly to many airports, both at home and in the other countries. The Boeing 727 has two main series. The Pesic Series-100 developed initially and first delivered in the 1964 and the Series-200 launched in 1967. The model 727-200 was distinguished by its fuselage extended by 6 meters. Over time, the plane got equipped with boosted engines and became heavier. Both models had cargo versions, as well as various special modifications. Within a dozen years after entering the market, the 727 was the world's most popular jet aircraft, losing the lead only to its successor, Boeing 737. In total, until 1984, the airlines received 1,831 aircraft of this model. The Boeing 727 was an extremely popular aircraft on most of the regional and medium hull lines. Three engines were also an advantage on the medium-distance international flights. Before that, only four engine jetliners or large piston aircraft could fly over the oceans because of the ATOPS requirements. The aircraft received special popularity, especially by the end of operations, in the niche of freight transportation. FedEx Express started using these planes in 1978, and they were the backbone of the park until the beginning of the 21st century. The possibility to lower the air stair in flight on the 727 was used not only by hijackers, but also by special services. During the Vietnam War, the CIA used the aircraft to drop agents on the enemy territory. In 2017, there were about 150 planes of all versions operating in parks of mainly the developing countries. And that's all about this plane. Soon it will pass into history. But even there, it will have a worthy place. And to you, fast flights and soft landings. Fly a lot, like, subscribe and do not touch the aircraft doors in flight.